Okay, class, now you are on your Weebly page, and now the first thing that you need to do is to decide on your website name. So you are going to go to your settings, and then right here where it says site address, you're going to click here. When you click here, you're going to click the first box, and then in this box is where you're going to type the name of your web address. So if I wanted a website about flowers, I might say flowers by Vivi. And what will happen is if that website is available, if that name is available, you'll see that. If it's not available, then that means it'll say taken. So you're going to keep trying until you can come up with a domain name that will work. So once you type that in, flowers by Spivy. Once you type that in, this is actually the name of your domain, and you hit continue. And now, um, in, when you click on your website, you're going to do www.flowersbynicolespivy.weebly.com. So you're always going to have following your name, weebly.com, after your subdomain.